Hi, today we'll be explaining about DaVinci Resolve. In particular, we'll be talking about the color page and specifically, we'll be talking about notes and especially something about notes that I have searched all over the internet and it's very hard to find any information about, which is these blue inputs and outputs. All the videos that I have watched only talking about the green inputs and outputs, which is RGB. But today I'll be explaining about the key input and output. So before we begin, we have to explain what is a key or what is keying. Keying is the process of separating and isolating elements of an image by their color of or brightness. So what does that mean? Basically, it means that I will select part of this image and I will manipulate only that part of this image. So let's add a serial node first. Right click, go to add node and then go for serial node. So we will be doing a key on this window first. Then I'm going to explain about the inputs and outputs. To make it very clear what I will do, let's zoom in here. I will select, let's say, only this part of the image. This is only for illustrative purposes. Let's say this part of the image. So you can see here that I've selected only the airplane. Now, this is a key because we separated this part of the image and we will be manipulating this part of the image only. Let's say, let me increase the brightness here. So as you can see, I'm doing this just to illustrate. This part of the image, let's even hide the, go here and turn this off. See, I changed this part of the image and made it brighter, only this part. Now, let's add another serial node here. So, the part of the image, which is the airplane, is bright and it's still bright here uh, in this other serial node. Now, let's make it even more clear. Let's add a parallel node. Okay, so now we have two parallel nodes here. Why did I add a parallel node? Just to show you that you can take the output here and put it in any node you want. So what will happen if I select this output from the node that I have made the selection on and I select either this node or this node if I want or any other node. Let's say this node. As you can see, the key information from this node, which is this selection, has been selected and copied to this node. So let's say I wanted to manipulate this selection again, the same selection. There is no need for me to make the same keying or separation or isolating of this part again in this node. What I can do is just take the keying information and take it to this node. Let, let's remove this again and illustrate. Let me create, uh, let's say, another serial node here. And let's select another part here. Let's say I want this part, for example. So as you can see, I have selected only this part of the image to be manipulated either by changing the color or changing the brightness or doing any kind of modification to the image or sorry to the video or the image whatever you want to call it now i have this information this keying here from this node i can take it to this node or i can take the key information or as you can call it separation or selection. Let's, let's call it a selection. I can take the selection here or the selection here or from any other node that I will create and take it to this node. So let's say if we take the selection from this output, the key information and here, as you can see, whatever I selected here, I, I selected again here or whatever part I selected is in this node. Let's say we remove this one. I will take the key information from the airplane here. So we have selected the airplane again. We take the key information from this node to this node. And we can create another serial node here. 
So I just want to show you that how can we use both the, uh, or as you before saw, how can you use the green inputs or output, which is uh, taking the RGB from this node and to this node, and here taking the RGB from this node to this node. Uh, you must have watched so many tutorials about that, but people in those videos always just directly make this key information and connect it to, from one node to another without explaining, first of all, what is keying and without explaining what th does this do exactly. Nobody explains. Or as per my knowledge, I searched so many uh, videos, nobody explains this in a correct manner or they just assume that you already know. But if you already know, why did you search for tutorials on YouTube or on any other place about how to use DaVinci Resolve? Because either you don't know or you want to refresh your information again or refresh your knowledge. So I hope this made it clear on what this output does. This takes the key information or let's call it a selection information from one node and copy it to another node. I hope you uh, gain some information from this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye.